Here's the deal. Our old speed reader is broken. I've almost completely totaled it in multiple crazy crashes, and um, I even put it under water, mistaking it to be waterproof. I have learned my mistakes, however, so this is the Dynamite GPS speed meter 2.0, and today I'm going to be unboxing it, reviewing it, and giving you my first impressions. Now this will be a pretty short video because it's just a little speed meter, um, but Dynamite has been making a name for themselves out there. It's a competitor of Sky RC, which um, was the brand of the previous speed meter I have. A lot of people claim that Dynamite GPSs are more accurate than Sky RC, but we will see in future speedrun videos. But yeah, that is enough talking, so let's break this thing open. But first, let's take a look around this box. So we can see it says Passport GPS Speed Meter 2.0. Um, and of course this is made by the famous Horizon Hobby. It says easy monitoring of the speed and location of your vehicle compatible with RC planes, helis, cars, or boats. So that is a lot. Dynamite, power your passion. We've got that awesome logo there. And on the side here, we have their website, dynamiterc.com. Make sure to go check that out. Um, they're, they say they have some pretty good customer support. So you can go there and talk to them if you're having any issues. Moving on to the back, we got a bunch of boring stuff. Input power by USB port. 5 volts, 1 amp, um, this is a bunch of boring stuff in here. Uh, let's see though, battery type. So it does have a 3.7 volt, 200 milliamp hour LiPo it looks like. Um, GPS compatibility, there's a bunch of stuff. It is GNSS, which is the same as uh, the SkyRC. That is a lot of boring talk, um, but Passport GPS speed meter. And yeah, so there is something that actually does not stay on the box. It has a one year warranty that you can pay extra for. And it's actually waterproof, though we probably won't test that after the results of the previous GPS, which is right here. As you can see, it's like cracked, destroyed. It still kind of works, but we're afraid it's not reading the speed correctly. So we have a new one. It is USB compatible when plugging into the computer and is of course multi-purpose. So it can be used for RC cars, drones, helicopters, boats, and a lot more. As I already said, so you can see so far that it is built specifically to calculate speed on a moving object, um, which is what we are going to be using it for. It even has a built-in battery, and I'm pretty sure it will charge the same way as the SkyRC did. I think so, using a micro USB cable. But we will see once we open it up, which we will do right now. Let's pull open this tab right here and lift off the top. And here we have the manual. Read this. <laughs> that is all I can really say. I will be reading mine after I'm done filming this unboxing. Whoa, this is massive. Um, but yeah, I will be reading that after I'm done filming this unboxing. But for now, we will just throw that to the side and continue on. Hey, we already have the speed meter out. Like, what the heck? Um, you can see both the speed meter and the charging cable um, are encased in foam to protect it in shipping, which is nice. Um, also, I got this from Amazon. It's also available on Banggood. We'll have links to both down in the description below if you want to pick this up. These things are really awesome. They're super handy um, and they're really nice for having with RC cars. And they're really just awesome, handy dandy little machines. First, let's take a look at this charging cable. I was correct. I was right. This is micro USB. You can see. Yeah, um, that is all right. There are barely any unboxing videos of this. So I don't really know much about the packaging or the charging cable or anything like that, um, but I was right. It's micro USB, which kind of sucks, but hey, at least it came with a charger. And now, here we are to the main attraction, the speed meter. Let's pull it out of here. There's two little thumb hole things. Um, is there anything else under there? No. So, I'm gonna just box that up and throw that. So here it is in a little baggie. I like this plastic little thing. If we slide it out of here, we can see it's full form. Wow, this is this is really good build quality. Like, feels very durable. This will be very good for when you're bashing or just doing speed runs. If like you just fly up into the air, 
it feels it feels like um, stable. It feels reinforced. It feels like really hard, good plastic. Um, it's not any cheap plastic. It feels stronger than this. This is like all clunky, and even like the top can like come apart and stuff. Um, but this this feels much stronger. So. I'm already liking this more than the other speed meter. Anyway, on the bottom, you can see we have a big old power button. I like the sizes of these buttons. And on the top, we have a mode button and an enter button. On the surface is the Dynamite logo. And uh, it's, a nice, it's a very nicely sized LCD screen, GPS, speed meter, and tracker. Now, I bet this has a little juice in it, so we'll hold down the power button. Yep, it's powering on. Awesome. Always shows us a weird little number. And here we are. So you can see it's actually three quarters charged, which is really nice. It already starts up with a bunch of juice. So first, this is like the time. That's not set or anything yet, but if we hit mode. And then this one is present speed. So if I just started walking with this in my hand, you would see the numbers change like a speedometer. But next up, we have, if we hit mode, peak speed, which is what you really want for RC cards when doing speed runs. So what you would do is you would press enter, then stick um, it onto your vehicle with the Velcro. So press vent, um, enter. Anyway, then you would do a couple speed passes um, and then pull your RC, get back up to you. And it would read the highest speed it hit in those speed runs. Anyway, continuing on, if we hit mode again, we have average speed. It even has like the little abbreviation up there for it. This is, well, the average speed of your speed run. Um, and then we have your longitude and latitude uh and then we have peak altitude we have peak altitude and then we have this one basically shows what decimal of a mile you made in a run or whatever you're doing and then just to power off we're going to take this and we're going to hold down and it says off and there it is now it is off sorry if i like got a little confused there and paused or something and kind of like stuttered um, it's just because I don't really understand this. Well, I understand it. I just haven't, um, I, I, I don't own this. I didn't own this just until now. It literally just came in the mail. Um, and I spent like a, uh, like 20 minutes making a video so far. So, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, and I'm noticing another little thing I left out. This, you pry it out. It's a little hard. There's actually like a little USB port that you can plug into your computer. I don't understand the computer software. Um, so do not take my word for that or anything. There's also another little tiny thing that I forgot over here. Um, sorry, on this side, you actually have your USB port for charging. So you go right there and there's the micro USB. Well, that is about it, peeps. Thank you for watching this relatively short video on this Dynamite GPS speed meter 2.0. Um, we know this thing is not new, um, but it is one of the newest ones out there came out around three years ago. We have been getting a lot of things from 2017 for some reason, that's just a coincidence. Um, but yeah, we are gonna be putting this on a lot of our RC cars. We're gonna be seeing how fast the WL Toys 144001 can go. We'll see how fast the 12428 can go. So sorry I don't know about the whole data thing that you can plug into your computer, um, but I just bought this to know how fast my RC cars can go. But anyway, that about wraps up this week's video. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, comment down below, um, anything helps the channel comment down below what speed meter you have this thing is $100 so I got it for $115 it's around 105 now on Amazon so a little pricey um, but we will be seeing if it is worth that whopping price anyway make sure to comment down below with thumbs up I already said that home um, but make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button as that little animation is telling you right in front of us and just like that we will see you next time goodbye